refugees will have already seen this but this is my one of my favorite breakfasts it is half cooked asian style eggs so i have three whole eggs in there yes it's quite a high fat meal for me but it's worth it and um, i have some light soy sauce black pepper and two pieces of high fiber toast Ten minutes ago, but let me tell you guys, I'm going to to get through cardio quicker, and this is what really helping help me with. I used to watch YouTube videos, I'm been watching TikToks, and for some reason, that makes the time go so fast, and you're like grabbing onto your phone, and you're like scrolling, so you're not really like holding on to the machine or whatnot. So, yeah, pro tip, TikTok, and you want to like make sure your for you page is all like good vibes baggage, energy, funny stuff. It just, <laughs> it's the only thing that gets me so just kind of caught up in it just because it's so short and so like each clip is so stimulating <laughs> that you like don't really realize the time and like you're like laughing in between. It sounds crazy but keeps the mood up, you know. But how much fat in it? Two grams. Oh, that's pretty good. Mini rice cake. I love rice cake. It's though. chicken flavor. It's bouncing burger. I think that's like burger ring flavor. Three grams fat. Let's grams try this fat. one. Oh, we can just get right. This is getting old, though, buddy. <laughs> Mini rice cakes. in here so the first thing I got you already know I'm a pre-workout junkie so the first thing I got is a new pre-workout only because I just finished my old one so this is the new one that I got as gross legend this is the second time they came out with this formula so this is actually a version 2 they had a previous one before which I really liked and this is their second version and I got the flavor red frog so i'm really excited to try it i had like a similar kind of red red frog red skins flavor in the disorder pre-workout so i'm really excited to try this one and compare and see how it tastes like the other time i had gross i or i had like the warhead sour watermelon flavor so i'm really excited to try this one it has 4,000 megs of citrulline so citrulline is really good for those pumps um, there's beta alanine, which is pretty much a lactic acid uh, buffer. So it makes that kind of burny feeling come a little bit later. So you don't kind of like burn out too early. So it actually helps you with endurance and stuff like that. Um, so much other good things um, with beta alanine. So 3,200 is a good dose. And they also have some Panax ginseng root in there, which is really good for kind of just like mental focus and stimulation. They have tyrosine in there. So tyrosine does help with like, you know, your thyroid and stuff like that, but also um, it helps like with energy production. It has taurine, which actually helps your heart. So sometimes stimulant, um, any, any kind of stimulants that is very stimulating um, can get your heart like a little bit kind of racy. So the taurine actually helps your heart to be stable. And so you don't get too much of like the heart palpitations kind of feeling. It has alpha GPC, which is actually very good for cognitive function. It helps your brain not be foggy. It helps you to kind of just like concentrate on things better. We actually have the 
tablets that we sometimes take but we forget to take. So it's really good that it's already in here. So that's awesome. Um, there's also caffeine, 250 megs of caffeine, but it's natural caffeine from coffee bean or whatever that is. But um, anyways, that is... Uh, natural caffeine source so it'll be interesting to see because i normally have um caffeine and hydrogenous which is like the lab form of caffeine so the slightly non-natural version of caffeine is what i normally have so it'll be cool to see this natural version of caffeine just to see um how i feel on it i'm really excited to have this i think a serving is two scoops so i will be going ahead and having two scoops of this tomorrow super excited to try this tomorrow Next thing that I got is Stars and Pipe by Mecca Labs. This is a pump powder. So sometimes if I don't want too much sim, I will only do like half a serving of pre-workout. So maybe just one scoop. And then I will do a scoop of pump powder. Or sometimes if I'm training later in the day and I don't want any caffeine, if I don't want any caffeine later on in the day, then I'll just take a pump powder. There's literally only three ingredients in there, keeping it nice and simple. Glycerol, which is the main one that you need. That's 5,000 megs, the full dosage, and also 6,000 megs of citrulline, which is the full dose of citrulline as well. So, um, and obviously beta and hydrogenous. So there you go, nice pumps. Um, the flavor I got is Cooper's Town. Honestly, don't know what that means or what it's gonna taste like. So again, I'm really excited to try this. And this is the protein that I have. I've showed you guys a lot already. I have raw one protein in the isolate mix as well. Tastes good. And I have it in chocolate peanut butter. This time, I just finished a tub of strawberry. So I go through different phases. When I'm actually, this past off season, I have not wanted chocolate protein for some reason. Just, I don't know, I just didn't really... I just don't really feel like chocolate. I know it's very weird because I love chocolate. Um, but now that I'm back on prep, I'm craving chocolate again. So we got a big tub of chocolate rule one protein. And then we got a free shaker. Use my code, Nicole10. You'll get a free gift firstly. And then if you spend above $100, you get free shipping. So obviously I got free shipping. And then I also spent above $150. So we got another free shaker. So here we go. Nice, cute. Um, Golden Shaker. Jeremy is going to love this. And um, these are the extra free gifts that you get like with my code this month. So you get like a little funnel thing. So if you have like a bottle and you want to like put this into there, you can like kind of funnel it, it in. Hearing says crush it. And another um, lanyard thing from Core Nutritionals saying crush it as well. It is now Sunday the 27th of June and we are officially 14 weeks and five days out. I'm getting pretty excited but COVID's still kind of lingering around we just got like one local case or something so we have to start wearing masks for the next three days but i think that's not too bad so fingers crossed everything still stays okay we nip this in the butt and everything will still be good to go but regardless i have my home gym to train at so as long as we're still good in 14 weeks that is the most important thing but I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a prep update. So I actually got my period like four days ago. So that was the reason for my weight spike, which I, I don't know why I didn't think about it. When I had the weight spike, I just assumed that, oh, you know, it's just normal for my body to be like that. But I didn't think to check to see, oh, is my period coming? I just didn't think about it. And then like it came and I was like, okay, that makes sense why I gained weight two days ago. So since my weight spike, um, it came back down a little bit during my period and then it kind of stabilized. It was literally exactly the same for the first three days. Um, the fourth day, it did drop a little bit and then we did a calorie drop, which was, which was yesterday. So yesterday, I um, checked in with Coach. He's actually really happy about where I'm currently at. He says we're definitely a little bit of ahead of schedule. I don't think so. I think we're just okay like i wouldn't say we're ahead um but it is obviously comforting for for me to know that he does think so so i guess we are a tiny bit ahead but to just keep things going along because things have been kind of at a standstill so this week i would say it's a week of no progress um personally that's how i feel but it's totally fine for that to happen obviously my first week of prep was quite fast so it's normal to have you know some good weeks and then some slow slower weeks and even some weeks going backwards a little bit that has happened to me before um 
I'm just here to share my experiences with you guys and let you guys know that it's okay to not make progress every week. That's why we have long preps. So that's why I love prepping for a long time. I love prepping my clients for a long time. Just so we have the time to kind of play around with and we won't freak out when we have the slower weeks or the weeks of no progress because it does happen. We sometimes can take a tiny step back and then take two steps forwards like the very, very next day. So, and I know my body's really prone to that. It's pretty crazy, like I said. So not too worried about that. I haven't had a high carb day so far and I'm totally fine with that as well. But Coach has scheduled one for next Wednesday and he wants me to have one weekly from that week going forward. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> But he reckons that will um, keep things from going too fast, which, you know, blows my mind because I'm like, why would we not want to go faster? But, you know, it's it's, it's all part of it. Obviously, you want to come in on time, the right amount of conditioning for each show. Um, I do have two shows to do, and the next one is four weeks after the first one. So I kind of have about nearly 18 to 19 weeks to the last one. So I kind of have to pace myself. I am someone that is one of a, the smaller competitors, so I want to retain size. I want to make sure I'm still growing through this prep. So the refeeds will definitely allow me to do that. So I'm obviously going to listen to orders. I'm going to be doing my high carb day whenever I need to. So for now, no high carb day until next week. I'll probably do it around midweek, like a Wednesday or Thursday. We'll see. I'll probably do it on like a really difficult leg day. So maybe Friday then because that's when I do my leg day. So we'll see how I go. I'm starting to feel a little bit depleted already since the carb drop yesterday. But I didn't lose weight. So after the macro cut yesterday, I was super happy to get a macro cut. I don't know why, I'm a bit crazy these days. So I'm just like a sucker for this suffering because I know what the suffering entails. I, I know the end product, I know the end goal. I see it in sight and I know like the hell you need to go through to get there. It's like when you're fighting a war and like you know that all that is necessary for you to win at the end, you know? So regardless. Um, I'm having a really good mindset about it these days. It may change, may not change, but I'm feeling pretty good about everything. Um, the suffering and whatnot, the hunger, bring it, the tiredness, bring it. Just feeling like I'm dying at the gym, bring it. There's a lot of days where I didn't feel like doing my hit, but I did it anyways. And all that has been feeling pretty good. So I am suffering a little bit and I'm okay with that is exactly where I'm at right now. So that's that. But yeah, after um, the drop, I expected, and I did hit that day as well. So we got my calories cut. I did hit, I was really compliant that day. It was a great day. And today I gained weight. So that's, you know, shit like that happens, you know. Usually when I first get a decrease, my body is somehow like punishes me by making me hold on to fat or something. I do not know why it does that but it it does it's part of it i'm hoping that tomorrow we'll have a nice drop but today was a rest day so i didn't train uh, but i got my steps in i worked a lot um i did do a little bit of vacuum practice this morning a little bit of stretching i used my massage gun trying to focus on recovery when i'm having my rest days but i've just been really really busy with work so um, usually when I don't train, I have less calories to eat and I'm feeling okay because I've just been so busy. When I'm just like really, really busy, I don't have time to really think about food and I don't really think about it too much and um, it doesn't really it doesn't really bother me, honestly, when I'm too busy these days. So um, I've been dealing with the hunger today totally fine and it's also my dad's birthday so we're going out for dinner tonight. I'm just going to be there to pay the bill and I think I'll be ordering a Thai beef salad. I've calculated uh, rough calories for it um, into my MyFitnessPal so I think this is the only exception I'll be making in terms of um, trying to estimate a meal out. Um, otherwise, during prep, I normally like to be super, super accurate. I always bring my own food. I just don't trust the people who who cook it. Um, but for today, since we we still have some time, we're on, we're on track. I'm going to estimate this meal out. I am going to overestimate as well. So I'm feeling I'll be pretty safe. If anything, I'll end up under eating rather than over eating. So it's not the worst thing in the world. Again, I do not recommend, but um, gotta do what needs to be done. So I'm gonna be having a nice dinner with my family to celebrate my dad's birthday with mask on in a few hours. And just thought I'd just quickly check in with you guys. So 
yep, that's where I'm at. And oh yes, a lot of you have um, noticed that I broke my nails in the last video. They're all fixed now, so my nails are all fixed and pretty again. <laughs> back training in a mask and I'm trying out a new gym today because Jeremy just became a member so we're just gonna check it out. Home now from training shoulders and then I also got some hit done and did a little bit of steps when I was doing some grocery shopping. So I'm just gonna do some meal prep now. I'm gonna be prepping some sweet potato and some rice. And I think I'll also do some chicken and pork. So I'll just show you guys how I prep all that up and then that will be ready to go for the next few days. I'm gonna have a pretty busy week. So today is Monday, which is like my only day off. I work from Tuesdays all the way through to Sundays. So Mondays I like to get things organized to pretty much make sure that my week is as easy to get through as possible. Um, so I like to definitely always smash out a weight training session and cardio as well, because sometimes it gets a bit hard to fit everything in. But it's all done, it's only two o'clock, so I still have the rest of the day to get everything organized. So I'm just gonna show you guys um, how I prep all these. So the first thing I'm gonna prep is this sweet potato. I used to eat them baked but I like to do like a steam mash now well, I guess it's still baked I still bake it in the oven so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna make sure I wash it sometimes there's a little bit of dirt just kind of stuck in the little nooks there so I make sure to like just kind of give it a little bit of a rub down to make sure all the dirt's off it next thing I grab is some baking paper um, also if it's quite a big one I like to cut, cut it in half as well so I'll bake the like, two halves separately so it just bakes faster And then I'll just cut the ends off as well. And then you grab some alfoil and then wrap that, that up as well. And then I literally just like pop it into the oven like that for anywhere between half an hour up to even one hour. So you want to cook it like nice and slow to let it slowly kind of like caramelize, I guess. And you want it to get like super 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 soft so it's gonna be pretty much like a mashed potato ideally so that one's done and that one's done as well so I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in the oven So next I got these, again, my, you know I love these, the pre-marinated chicken kebab sticks. So I try not to have too much of these because obviously they're a little bit high in fat, um, but as long as I have enough fat macros, I'll still have them. So these I'm just gonna pop in the oven, they're already marinated, so that's good. And then I have some lean chicken breasts that I've already cut up. So I like to buy them bulk and then I just prepare uh, like a batch at a time. So I, I put the rest in the freezer to kind of keep fresh and this is what I'm gonna cook up right now. And obviously my rice is here washing. So I'm gonna wash the rice, get that put on, pop that into the griller and then pan cook that. And then, you know, it's time for me to clean the kitchen and we'll just have to wait for everything to be done. And it's all done. I showered and everything, and then everything was ready. So took it all out, put it into containers. So I have my two carb sauces here. So this is how the potato turns out after. I just kind of smashed it up a little bit. I would have actually liked it a little bit softer. I've cooked it for nearly an hour, but maybe I should have left it in a bit longer. The rice is nice and fluffy, the chicken kebab sticks, and then that's just my regular old chicken breast there. So two protein sources, two carb sources, and you already know my veggies, I have them frozen at the moment. So these will last me probably about two to three days because Jeremy eats them as well. 
So super easy, they're just gonna go in the fridge and anytime I need to eat, I will weigh out what I need and just pop it into the microwave. So yeah, I'm loving eating super clean, super easy, super basic these days and it's been working really, really well for me. Obviously last night I went out for um, a Thai dinner. I had a beautiful Thai beef salad and I think I overestimated the calories on that because I had a massive, massive weight drop today. But I'm not gonna really count it just in case it's a bit inaccurate because I was probably severely under eating yesterday. But that's totally fine. So I'm really excited to see what I weigh in at tomorrow. My goal today is to hit my macros one 100% so we'll be back on track and I can see how tomorrow goes but I'm gonna end the vlog here so if you like the video please like the video subscribe and I will see you in the next one